Hey guys, so in today's video I thought I would do a little flat tour slash apartment tour and give you a bit of an in-depth look around my space showing you how I've decorated it. So to give you a bit of background, the flat is a one bedroom, one bathroom and it's located in London, UK. I moved in a bit over two years ago now and initially was renting and then luckily me and my boyfriend had the option to buy the flat at the end of last year. Okay, so let's start in the hallway. This is what you see when you first walk into the flat. As it's quite a small space in general, I've tried my best to optimise storage where possible, but also keeping things fun and decorative. I decorated this wall with lots of cute prints and little accessories. Moving on to the main living space, this is definitely my favourite area. So when we first moved in, we weren't 100% sure if we would end up buying the flat, so we didn't actually paint the walls and just kept them white. My main aim was to make the decor colourful but also have a softness to it, so that's why I've mixed a lot of pastel shades with neutrals and natural materials like light woods. Like many, I get a lot of my inspiration from Pinterest and planned out sort of the mood and vibe of the room on there. I do get asked how I would describe my style and I'm not really sure to be honest. Um, usually I would search for things like Danish pastel or like pastel eclectic. I feel like that kind of encompasses the vibe. As you'll be able to see, the main living room is sort of semi-connected to the kitchen slash dining space. As it is a small flat, I really wanted to create like mini zones throughout this area. So having like a sofa, kind of relaxing zone, a dining table zone, and also like this mini sort of retro trolley, drinks trolley slash bar station area. Again, as we've left the walls white, I have tried to add a bit of colour and attention to the walls using art and then also lots of just small decorative accessories everywhere. I absolutely love these sort of shaped candles and cute little vases, cushions and other soft furnishings. This mirror definitely has to be one of my favourite things at the moment. Sadly, I was only able to fit in a dining table for two. Um, however, I think I've sort of optimised the space as best as possible and I'm really happy with how this little zone turned out with the colours and the materials. Okay, now let's have a little bit more of a look at the kitchen. In an ideal world, I probably wouldn't have picked cabinets this kind of modern. I much prefer things with a bit more character. So that's why when we moved in, I decided to put up these vinyl tiles on the splashback area, um, which I think have brought a bit more character and fun to the space. Also, I love pink and green together. So that's why I've gone for a lot of sage green um, kitchen appliances. And more recently, I created this mini gallery wall in the kitchen just to add a nice little focal point to the area and draw attention upwards as I think that always helps make a room feel bigger and taller. So now we're in the bedroom which is pretty modest in size but I'm quite happy with how it's turned out. I've continued the same colour palette from the living area into this room, so still focusing on really nice natural materials like rattan and like light beech woods paired with really pretty pastel muted tones. This is the space I come to relax, so it was really important that it's got a cosy, soft vibe to it. My favourite thing to open up a space is definitely adding a mirror on the wall. I think it's just really effective at like bouncing the light off and just giving an illusion that the room is bigger than it is. 
Now that we own the flat, I think I'm definitely going to paint this room at some point. I think the white is very flat and I'm thinking maybe like a light pink would look really nice and maybe even some panelling just to add a bit more character and depth to the room. But at the moment, as you can see, I've tried to bring the character through the accessories with pinks and lilacs, some like orangey warm tones. I think the vanity slash cabinet station here is one of my favourite points of the room at the moment. Um, it's just really easy to interchange and display cute things like hair clips and perfumes and accessories and jewellery and things like that. The last space I'm going to show you in the flat is the bathroom which is probably my least favourite area just because it's quite hard to change without spending a lot of money on like a whole bathroom renovation. So at the moment, I've kind of just compromised with like cute freestanding accessories to add a bit of color and just displaying my toiletries, which I think is kind of effective at adding character to quite a plain new build and inspiring bathroom. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this far into the video, I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos.